uh, when Ricky had returned home on Sunday, he'd obviously had time with his management and family to think about where he wanted to go and what was right for his time in Australian cricket. Um, and throughout yesterday, well into last evening, um, there were numbers of discussions going on between selectors, CA management, uh, myself, um, obviously J uh, James Sutherland, who's in India for the ICC World Cup and also some ICC meetings with our chairman, Jack Clark. So there was lots of discussions going on about what was right. Ricky made his decision late yesterday. And to that end, we then were obviously required to bring today together, which is a huge logistical exercise, um, given that we're in a, we were in a different state. Uh, he's um, you know, some distance away. So um, today we, we gathered early and we just went through the, the processes. And um, you know, today Ricky made his announcement that he is stepping down as captain um, from Test Cricket and stepping down as captain from One Day Cricket. He still intends to play on, which is a fantastic uh, thing for Australian cricket. Obviously, his innings in the One Day uh, quarterfinal recently uh, belies his skill as, um, as a player. Um, he will support um, the new captain, whoever that is, and from that end, um, the board will make a decision uh, later today. Um, the way our process works is that our, our selectors are independent. Um, they will provide nominations for all positions, uh, test 20 over and 50 over in the captain and vice captain roles, and then our board will consider those, and if they're endorsed, we tomorrow will come back here and um, um, and announce the, uh, um, those positions as they will be. So it's a, it's a very sad time for many of us in Australian cricket. Rick has been an outstanding leader and arguably has overseen the greatest uh, era of the modern times. Uh, people forget the things he's achieved and uh, three World Cups, um, won the Ashes, um, ICC trophies, uh, won in India for the first time. So uh, he's had an incredible, um, a incredible time. And you know, I think the thing that um, really made the point to him was he thinks this is the right time. We've got a lot of cricket ahead. We've got a Champions Trophy coming up. Um, we've got a 2020 World Cup. We've got a tour of South Africa and India at, at home this summer. So for him, this is the time to pass on the baton, um, but also be there to support others. No, there's absolutely no push. So I can assure you, you don't need to push a person like Ricky. Uh, Ricky is a strong leader. He knows when his time is right. Um, it caught us all by a bit of a surprise yesterday because obviously I talked to him in India last week and he was very keen to go on. But since losing the quarterfinal, um, He'd obviously thought this is the right time and it's a huge decision. It's a huge decision for someone who's given so much for Australian cricket and um, as someone who's worked closely with him, um, I can only assure everybody that Ricky is interested in doing what's best for Australian cricket. Ricky Ponting has never played for himself, he's always played for his team and his country and to make this decision um, was a difficult one but it's in the best interests of the game and um, I think we've got to support him and give him every encouragement going forward and it's fantastic that he's still playing with us. It's unusual in cricket that someone resigns and then continues to play, but Ricky's in a unique situation. You know, look, he's probably one of our best fielders still. He proved with his batting in the one-day final that he's one of our best batters. Um, you know, he's got the intense desire to keep playing. I don't think we should diminish that. How long it'll be, only he and the selectors will determine. But I think the fact he's around when we've got a young team and we're about to enter um, an, you know, a, a significant transition period, um, he's the right person to be around.